I now want to shift to Russell Westbrook and the Washington Wizards. To me, in 2021, the Washington Wizards have been a disappointment. So far, uh, let me just say this. I'm disappointed in the way Russell Westbrook's first year with the Washington Wizards has gone. And I will admit the Washington Wizards have dealt with some injuries. I think a lot of people, including myself, overrated their roster to begin with overall. You know, I think that a lot of people expected the Wizards to just be this really good team because Russell Westbrook's on the team. But I think that a lot of people failed to realize, you know, that this roster is has some talent, but isn't quite all the way there as being, you know, a team that can, that can compete with the Brooklyn's of the world, the Milwaukee's of the world, the Philadelphia's of the world, you know. And I will say, Scott Brooks continues to prove, prove to me at least, that he's just flat out not a very good NBA coach, not a very good NBA head coach. I think that he's at, I think that he's at best an average coach at this point. Well, maybe not at best, but to me, I think he's peaked. He's an average coach to me. I get a little bit of, I get a little bit of a Mike McCarthy vibe right here. I think that Scott Brooks, you can make the argument he's the Mike McCarthy of the NBA. When evaluating head coaches, you know, Mike McCarthy once a long time ago in the NFL was able to take the Packers to the Super Bowl. He had in a wing of Super Bowl with the Packers ever since then, has gotten worse and worse as a coach every year. Scott Brooks a long time ago did take Oklahoma City to the NBA Finals, but ever since then he hasn't adapted as a head coach. And I think that, you know, adapting every year is something you need to be able to do, and he has not shown that he can do that. And heading into this year, a lot of people thought that the Wizards maybe weren't going to be as good as Brooklyn, Philadelphia, Miami, or Milwaukee, but a lot of people put the Wizards in that next tier of really good teams that could make some noise in the playoffs. But this year, the Wizards finished the year with a 34-38 and 38 record, 34 wins, 38 losses, below 500. they They're nowhere close to as good as we thought they were going to be. Now, I will say I'm going to give Russell Westbrook and Bradley Beal a lot of credit for keeping this team together and fighting till the end of the season because the Wizards very well could have just mailed in the season and said, yep, we're done. We're not very good, but they continue to fight uh, throughout the season. And I do think that the Wizards will be a much improved team next year. Even though they are a playoff team this year, I do think they have a chance to compete with Philadelphia. but. I mean, I, I expected the Wizards to potentially win a playoff series at least this year, and it's a long shot for that to happen. And I just think that so far, Russell Westbrook and the Washington Wizards have been a disappointment. You know, I thought that Westbrook, Bradley Beal is going to work, and eh, it hasn't really quite worked. But ultimately, we'll see what happens. But so far, Russell Westbrook and the Washington Wizards, to me at least, have been a disappointment, and their roster has holes, and they need to work on those things in the offseason. Thank you so much for watching this video today. Please also note that the Juice Alert Sports Podcast is not just a YouTube channel. It is available on all podcasting platforms, including Spotify, Google Podcasts, iTunes, and Apple Podcasts. Also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this content with all your friends. This podcast is my favorite thing in the entire world right now. It is my passion. And I want more people to listen to this podcast. I really want this podcast to grow. Also, a fun fact about me is that I want to go into the sports broadcasting and media world once I graduate from the University of Toledo, a college in Northern Ohio. I am looking to become one of the next great sports broadcasters and analysts out in the world. And I potentially would like to start my own network if this podcast really truly grows or if I fall short of that goal, I would love to work for a big time network like ESPN or Fox Sports 1. I am open to all networks. So if you believe in my dreams and you see or hear my passion through the screen, be sure to tell all your friends about the Juice Alert Sports Podcast. Stay motivated, you guys. Have a God-blessed day, and I'm out.